everyone. Today's task is to index an archetype with examine. And so what we have here is our archetype, and it has a headline, and it has rich text, and it has color information with it. If we go to the examine management tab in our developer section, we can see what the current index looks like for that archetype. If I type in a keyword that is inside there, I can see in the black here is all of our usual archetype, or I'm sorry, Umbraco stuff. And when we get to the modules, here's an archetype, and it kind of looks ugly with all the JSON in there. So our task today is to build a index that we can search against that is much cleaner. It doesn't have HTML, and it doesn't have JSON wrapping everything, and it will make it much nicer for everything to work. So uh, what we'll do here is uh, open up Visual Studio, and I've already kind of cheated, and I typed up a lot of this, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to talk through it rather than kind of watch me code. And so what you see here is I created a class that inherits from the application event handler of Embraco, and we override the application started where we register our uh, gathering node data event watcher, and it will execute this method. So when this method runs, it will pass in the current node that is being indexed. So this will run possibly on startup and also during a, a publish after an edit, something like that. So we're going to build a giant string, and to do so, we're going to need the uh, string builder. And then what we do is, uh, first thing we do is, hey, I see um, you're trying to index a node here. Do you have a field name modules? And if you do, go ahead and handle that through the page builder and module here. And when you're all done, let's finish out that string and update uh, a field, and we're going to use munging for that. Munging, again, is just a giant uh, string. So we're building a giant string there for the string builder. We've got some logging information in here. The guts of everything is this handle page builder modules method here, where uh, essentially what we need to do is say, hey, uh, if you really have modules, and this is redundant, I realize, um, go ahead and get me the archetype value as a string. So it's going to pull out that JSON blob as a giant string. And then we're going to deserialize that into an archetype model. Once we do that, we can just loop over each module that the editor may have put into that particular uh, page builder or list or whatever it is. And we're going to say, hey, if the alias of that is uh, in my case statement here, go ahead and grab some information. So what alias are we talking about exactly? So if we go into the Umbraco back office again, notice that we have our page builder or whatever it is. We're going to need this alias right here, this rich text. So if we flip back to our code, that's going to go there. If we have another one, which we do, uh, we would add this one here. But this one's just going to be raw code. I don't think we want this one to be indexed. Um, but if you have different fields that you would like to be, you just need the alias of the field set. And that's going to go there. Now, uh, once we identify which one you are, we now need to uh, get the properties. So here we've got headline, here we got text. And if we go to here, you can see how that correlates. We have headline and we have text. So text string, rich text editor. Uh, I don't know what indexing of a color looks like, but at the moment we're not going to. And notice I have a nested archetype here, and if you wanted to do that, you could unwrap that here and then uh, perform the same steps of extracting that data out of there. Nested archetypes are kind of the outside of the scope of today, but it, it should be pretty straightforward. I created a, a couple, uh, or at least one method here called get safe string, and that is just simply uh, hey, use the archetype get value, and we're going to, uh, if it's null, uh, just return string empty. Uh, and if it's not null, go ahead and please strip all the HTML off there. And uh, we're going to append it to the string builder, and we're going to space delimit these. So we're basically, again, creating a giant string. And then uh, update munged field. If we scroll back up here, we can see where that's being used. So Basically, what we do is we build the string, and once we're done with the string, we need to update uh, a field. And we're going to use one called munged field. And if it already exists, uh, we're going to do an append operation. And if it does not exist, we're going to create. And so that's our simple class. Now that we've got it wired up, let's go back here and review that we have modules, and we do not have a field named munged uh, anywhere. So. If we go into this other section here and hit rebuild index and hit OK, it re indexed, and now we can come back here and reperform the search. And look at that. Now we have something called munged field, which is a much cleaner 
uh, index here for us to do. So what I typically do is I will go through and have a indexer like we just wrote there, and I will pull out all the data I think is imp important to be used in a search. Now, if I have additional SEO things or just, you know, who knows what, something from a, uh, a composition, I may throw that in there too because really all I really want to do is search one field. I don't need to search each one of these. Um, if I want to put node name in there, I can. If I want to search node name and Munch field, I can do that. And so uh, essentially that's all there is to uh, indexing an archetype within Examine.